603 now we're following a developing story out of southeast D.C. Uh, where there was an almost deadly weekend house fire that's causing a lot of alarm because of the victims in this case. That's right, a four-year-old fighting for her life after the fire. And arson investigators have been called in. Brianne Carter is live in the 33rd Street uh, in Southeast with a look at what may have happened there. Brianne? Well, Sinead, take a look here next to me. You can see that Metropolitan Police still on the scene. A section of the road remains blocked off. This more than 24 hours after this fire first began. Now, we understand that this is now an arson investigation where investigators trying to find out whether or not this fire was intentionally set. Fire investigators are trying to determine what started the fire at this southeast home that nearly claimed the life of a little girl complete shock was, was going on in my neighborhood. Authorities say early Sunday morning, a fire started in the basement and quickly spread. Several family members had to be rescued, including a four-year-old little girl who was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Morgan Ford works with the mother of the child. She's very smart, um, always energetic. I love to see her when I come over. Um, you know, this is, this is like family for me. So certainly a difficult day for the family and friends. Now we understand, according to authorities, that a man that was inside of the home after the fire was out made threats against a woman at the home. Authorities tell us that that man has now been charged with making threats and assault. He was not charged with anything in connection with the fire. No one has been charged with anything in connection with the fire. As you can see, with police still out here on the scene, this investigation is ongoing. Reporting live in Southeast, Breanne Carter, ABC 7 News.